A theft in broad daylight left businesses in the dark on Albuquerque's east side, and the explosive theft was all caught on video. Here's News 13's Alexis Kineski. We heard a loud explosion, and then the lights kind of flickered, and almost like what, um, like a power surge kind of thing, and then everything just shut down. This Albuquerque medical practice has been left in the dark the last week. As you can see, we have no power. We are running um, some work lights on some generators and the other businesses in the building have had to completely shut down. Stephanie Henderson with Family Medicine PC on Eubank near Montgomery says it's all because of thieves in the middle of the day. And then we looked at the video cameras and saw the truck that had um, tied a rope to the transformer and drove off and was able to pull out um, a bunch of copper wire, which then caused the power out outage. Now for the last week, they've been using lanterns, work lights, and relying on daylight through the windows to navigate the practice. Their 15 exam rooms were cut down to five. Thankfully, the power was restored this afternoon. It's horribly frustrating. You know, we're primary care office. There's not many of us in town. And we pride ourselves on being able to see patients when they need to be seen. The man Albuquerque police say is responsible for it, Brian Robinson, a top 10 shoplifting offender in the city. Police were keeping tabs on him when he and this woman, Emma Brown, drove to a Lowe's and resisted officers when they tried to leave. Police say Brown spit and kicked officers while Robinson threw meth and tried to make a run for it. While AFR crews were on scene checking both suspects, a firefighter said they recognized the truck Robinson was driving, believing it was involved in that metal theft at the doctor's office where thousands of dollars in copper wire was stolen. Drives off and pulls the doors open in an explosion and that was it. That's all it took. Henderson says after this, they are adding more cameras to the building and putting up barriers around the transformers. Alexis Gineski, KRQE News 13. Robinson was arrested on a long list of charges, including two felony warrants. He's also accused of a copper theft at the city's transit center that caused more than $50,000 worth of damage.